Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Uh, today I'm going to take the bike out. It's a little bit of a chilly. Uh, 68 degrees. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and crank the motorcycle. You know, when I was uh, talking about, you know, holding the clutch in to keep the motorcycle from jumping. <laughs> instead of uh, sitting there holding that clutch so long, I'm going to show you what happens when you don't hold that clutch long enough. just a little and to another thing is I'm checking for an oil leak uh, the last time I rode it was with a friend of mine and I noticed there was some drips or drops of oil underneath it and what I'm going to do is run it over there I need to go pick some medicine up over there and uh, smoke them so I'm taking the normal route once again, that, that same old boring route, but uh, okay, I'm fixing to go ahead and put it in gear, let's see how it's going to work. Throw the clutch in, did you see how it jumped? How many bikes do y'all have that jumps? I'm just curious to know. Uh, another thing is, you know, you can sit there and hold that clutch lever in for around 8 to 10 seconds, and it just slides right into gear. At least this one does. All right, enough said, let's go. See how fast I can make it over there.
<clears throat> okay, now let this thing sit for just a minute. Run in there and get the medicine and see if I got any oil drips underneath right in here. Okay, be right back. So far so good. From looking underneath it, there's no drips. I've been in there for about uh, four or five minutes, somewhere along in there. Uh, all right. Let me see how this thing's going to crank, because I did push it kind of hard getting over here.
back uh, over here to the hangar. Got everything accomplished that I set out to do. Uh, checked underneath the motor, uh, or should I say the engine here. And from what I could tell, everything looked dry. And where my oil was dripping was right in here. But you can see everything is good and dry. So fingers crossed, hopefully I won't have no problems with that o-ring so apparently it has done and sealed so i'm real happy about that i'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it uh, that'll save me the aggravation of pulling the starter but it really is no aggravation really it's really quite simple uh but you know if it's not leaking i'm not gonna mess with it all right I reckon I'm gonna just keep this a little tiny short video cause you know there's there, there gonna be a lot of footage I'm just gonna cut out cause you know you know that everybody doesn't seem me go back and forth you know to slope them so many times it's it's gonna get boring but uh anyway I would say uh thank you for watching and I'm gonna just definitely keep this a short short video and thank you for watching.